In this video, we'll show you how to hit with very heavy topspin with minimal effort, just correcting one little thing in your arm. So let's take a look at the topspin we're trying to create. On a topspin shot, we need to make sure that our, our racket moves up on the ball. Everybody knows that much. Question is, how do you make it move up on the ball? A lot of people drop their racket with their whole arm because they think that if they get their racket lower, they'll be able to create more topspin. While that might be the case that you can add a tiny bit more topspin, you won't have enough forward power to get the ball over the net. So the way that pros do it is very simple. They take their racket back and they keep their forearm roughly at the level of where the ball will be when they're going to make contact with it. And then the only thing they adjust, depending on if they want to hit with more spin or less spin, is how much they drop the racket with their wrist. And you can see it's kind of like a forearm turn here that happens that helps me to drop my racket with the help of my wrist by my wrist angling back. And then I can figure out how much topspin I want to give it. If I want to hit the ball very flat, I do the same thing. My forearm stays on the level of the ball and I drop my racket only to the point where it's behind the ball. So now I can hit straight forward from here. Take my racket back, drop it a little bit and swing straight forward no topspin added, or at least very minimal topspin. If I want to add a lot more topspin, I take the racket back the same way, keep my forearm again, same level as where I want to make contact, and now I drop my racket under the ball. From here, when I now swing, my wrist will straighten out again, which means my racket will move up while it is moving forward. I add a topspin. If I just take my racket back without dropping it, my racket also wants to straighten out, but now the straightening out is just a forward motion, right? Because my wrist wants to get back into this position where it's all straight here, okay? So if I take my wrist back like this, it wants to go back straight by just moving forward. If I drop my racket and I want to get it back straight, it has to move back up. That is my spin motion. So you can see it's very simple here. I can hit it flat, right? Or I can hit it with top spin. Both of those cases require almost the same preparation with your forearm and upper arm. The only difference here is when the ball is higher, obviously your upper arm and your forearm get higher, your elbow gets higher. If the ball is lower, you're going to bend your knees so you can adjust for that. And again, your forearm stays on the same level as the ball. And then you just drop your wrist a bit further or your racket a bit further with the help of your wrist in order to create more topspin. The more you do that, the more flexible your wrist is and the more you drop your racket with your wrist, as long as you can control that, that snapping back in place motion, the more topspin you will add to your shots and the easier it will be for you to hit heavy topspin without losing control of your shots and without framing every second ball. And here we can see a flat shot on the first one, clearly how the racket is not lower than the ball and it swings straight forward from there through the ball causing the flat shot. And on the top spin shot, we can see how the racket points down a lot more, the forearm being just as high, and the racket swings up on the ball, creating heavy top spin in the process. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.